Thank you for purchasing the Groove Roller. You need to choose the correct width roller at purchase point for either a 20 inch machine or 51 centimetre or for a 43 centimetre machine which is a 17 inch machine. At this time the Groove Roller assembly is only available for those two widths of machines. What you'll receive in the box is the assembly grooved roller. You will receive two inserts which may actually be inserted already into the ends. Uh, two 35 millimeter set screws with flat washers and spring washers and two inserts like this. Because we've made this so that it will fit both the Kensington 17, Kensington 20, Balmoral 17, Balmoral 20 and also the Liberty 43, there are some spaces here which will only be used for the Stirling 43 and Stirling 51. If you are not fitting it to the Stirling, you will not need these spaces. I'm going to be fitting this to the Stirling, so I'm going to be using the spacers. If you are fitting this, uh, and you will also need to use these longer screws. If you are fitting this to a Liberty 43, a Kensington or a Balmoral, you will just use the screws that you are going to take out of the smooth roller uh, and use those again for the fitment of the groove roller. So let's go. Tools required, 17 millimeter open-ended spanner and 13 millimeter ring or open-ended spanner. With the sterling, I can tip the machine back to make this easy to access the roller. Uh, just be careful with the petrol engine machines because when they tip back, the oil uh, goes to the underside of the piston and can cause problems. So if you can just keep the machine supported here so that you can operate on the front roller, that would be good. With the sterling and the Liberty, that's not the same issue. And what I'm going to do is use the two uh, spanners. 17 millimeters is going to hold the stub shaft still and I'm just going to undo the small studs using the 13 millimeter spanner. So I'll just leave that supported. 17 millimeters is going to go here, 13 here. If you're going to be fitting this roller, this groove roller, to a sterling machine then there's no need for you to retain these two screws. If you are going to be fitting it to a Balmoral at Kensington or a Liberty then you're going to use those screws again. So I'm going to leave that like so. I have my inserts which I've put into the end of the roller and then I've got these two spacers which I'm also going to be using as well. So put the space, put the 35 millimeter set screw in with the spacer here. You might notice that I've already removed the scraper, which isn't necessary. You can use the scraper in conjunction with this. Uh, it just doesn't do an awful lot because you're only scraping at the peaks and that's not where you would get a buildup. Uh, and I've also removed the turf rake. Well, that's entirely personal preference anyway as to which one that you use. So I'm using the spacer at the end. And that all fits snugly in between the carrier on the front roller assembly. Just going to tighten those up. Use my 17 millimeter spanner just to finally tighten that up. You'll notice once that's fitted and all tightened up that when this front roller sits on the grass, that it does sit a little bit deeper. The ground pressure on the peaks here is about four times as high as it is with this. So if ground conditions get really wet, then this um, might, you might find actually sinks into the ground more 
uh, I use, I'll put this roller back on when striping is really necessary and I really want to get really strong stripes, I will use this. But if I want to cut more grass because I'm not laying it all down, then I will use this roller and it will give a cleaner cut, especially in very long or very short grass conditions or in Kentucky blue grasses uh, po uh, and uh, other power type grasses um, which, which will which splay and don't cut quite so cleanly. This will help with straight lining as well. It seems to track so much more true, but if I want strong stripes, then I'm gonna use the smooth roller. Hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much.